Welcome to Fire and Steel. Uh, we're going to do our backpacks. Um, this is the uh, Bergens 110 liter Alpinist. It uh, it weighs um, about four kilos. The backpack when it's empty, it's about eight pounds. Um, it's made from uh, 1300 D ballistic uh, 210 Cordura. The comfortable carry weight of this is uh, 40 pounds and upwards. Uh, that's the comfortable carry weight. Mm -hmm. uh, you can carry light stuff in it, but it's no—it's not really any point. It's supposed to it's supposed to carry heavy stuff. Uh, it exists as 130 liters, but that's for uh, people with uh, that are 185 centimeters tall and upwards. So I'm not. I'm uh, just over 170. So uh, this one is uh, recommended for 165 to 185 centimeters. Um, I've um, used mine for five years. It um, you can hardly tell. It has many many miles on it, like my shoes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a brilliant backpack. Very very sturdy. Take a lot of beatings. Um. In front, you have uh, two zippers to hold down the lid. Oh, I can start from the top actually. The top lid is pretty big. You can remove it. I showed it uh, in our gear testing video or gear video what we have in our backpacks. You can take it off uh, the entire lid. Um, it's um, it's a stretch material. So you can get it over. Uh, we can have um, two straps on the side to uh, give it more volume. Uh, just remember to tighten it in to make the pack as tight as possible, both sides. Um, it has two straps in front, of course, to uh, get it down. Uh, these these are buckles are very good, are very sturdy. Um, this is for carrying uh, ice picks, walking sticks, whatever you want to carry with them. Uh, we have a handle here that is really sturdy. Uh, this pack now weighs uh, about 40, 50 pounds actually. It's quite heavy and it's no problem lifting it by it. It, uh, it holds. Mm -hmm. um, I have carried 80 pounds in it, 40 kilos, and uh, it wasn't any problem. It's heavy, but uh, it's not a problem at all. Uh, these backpacks are anatomical, meaning they don't have a frame, uh, which I like. I think frames are more weighty, just uh, not as good to carry. They can carry heavier, but they're not as good to carry. Mm. Two side pockets, uh, pretty big. I keep uh, toilet paper, my water bottle, uh, my cushion in here. Uh, in there I have my uh, knife, duct tape, wrap kit, stuff like that. Uh, you can remove both by zippers here. And uh, you can make a, uh, make a day pack if you attach both uh, to each other. They have, uh, as you can see here, shoulder straps mm -hmm. hidden down here uh, this goes all the way down so you can stick something say a big knife or a stick or something all the way through it comes out here and you can put it in here which also has straps you got some room down here as well uh, again straps to uh, tighten up the pack not make it as loose um, the main compartment is uh, divided in two you can open it completely so it's get stuff all the way down uh, I never do that I keep it uh, I keep it uh, two compartment um, simply because you can open up uh, yeah uh, two straps here carry your uh, sleeping pad fishing rod walking sticks whatever you want here these are very good and uh, they go up far uh, open the compartment you can see the top compartment here which you can open and get to that here I have a bunch of dry bags, knives, tarp, a lot of stuff. Um, I think that's it for the front. Uh, as you can see, there's some webbing here to put on uh, carabiners. Um, more straps if you want to, to attach more on the outside of your pack. 
I'm not a big fan. I like to keep my pack, everything inside my pack, but if I have to, you've got a lot of options. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of options to tie down things. Uh, on the back, We have the QSS uh, carrying system. Um, I love this system. Uh, the adjustable, I don't know if you can see, but you adjust uh, these uh, shoulder straps. Uh, you can adjust them quite high and quite low. Uh, they are now set at almost the lowest because I like getting uh, the pad here uh, right at the middle of my back. So I really get it up on my hip. Mm -hmm. um, these are very comfortable uh, carrying uh, straps. Uh, I mean, you can see the thickness here. It's really thick. That is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you got carrying options here for uh, a sled. If you want to carry a sled, you kind of have to attach it up here and down on the hip belt. Um, again, with the strapping, uh, just remember to set your pack to your uh, your size, what's most comfortable for you. Um, there's a mesh here to, re to relieve a sweat, uh, which works brilliantly. I'm not getting wet on my back. Uh, it has some, I uh, can't really see, but small bumps here. It's for a massaging thing. It's, it's, you know, it's very comfortable. It's a high quality backpack. Um, the hip belt. Yeah, also, you have this uh, dump here uh, to put your head back, the back of your head, so you can straighten out your neck, which is very important when you walk long hikes, you don't... Because it, I remember the old backpacks back in the day, they, uh, you, you have a tendency to get your neck there, and uh, that's not going to happen uh, now. You can really fit your hand, head back here. Uh, the hip belt. It's, uh, it's, it's brilliant. It's really thick, uh, stiff, but not too stiff, but it goes around your hip a lot. Um, easy to, uh, to tighten and loosen. Uh, you have uh, for a sled and a sled, so you can drag a sled uh, with your backpack, which is important for some. I mean, uh, I've done that in the, in the past. Um, not anymore though, but... Uh, yeah, uh, very soft, very comfortable, sturdy, and as you can see, five years, a lot of use, you can't really tell, which is the thing that impresses me the most. Uh, it has um, a water system, H2O uh, underneath here, a hole, so you can drag your camel back through. Uh, also, um, uh, there's, a, there's a rain cover in the lid underneath a uh, black one um, I never use that either Sim simply because they can take a lot of water they are if not waterproof they are uh, very water resistant every zipper is sealed so you're not gonna get any rain in anyway now as you can see I'm wearing it and it's quite high which is how you should carry your backpack you shouldn't you shouldn't be hanging down on your ass uh, this is the way to carry it uh, nicely now uh, right now I'm carrying it on my hips uh, and it's easy uh, when you walk if you you get tired in your shoulders you just release the buckles and uh, and uh, carry all the weight on the uh, on the hip mm -hmm. um, very easy um, just remember to remove this one so it doesn't drift dry you can adjust this as well up and down here uh, if I want to carry it on my shoulders, mainly because my hips are getting tired, you just do like this, and you open. In for now, you just open. So um, normally you would want to divide the weight between the two, but you will get tired upwards. So remember to. But it's so easy. You just pull, mm. pull, tighten. You can operate a lot from from here, and I like that. Um, it's very important you have to take your pack on and off and as I said this is 40 pounds uh, a little bit more and uh, I can't really feel the weight on my back and uh, I can straighten out my head in this dump and walk like this without a problem uh, it retails for $500 so it's quite expensive but 
as with shoes and with certain clothes uh, you can't pay enough I think mm. this is comfort yeah. and this is what you need for long hikes now if you just like day hikes then don't buy this stuff it's too expensive buy a smaller pack cheaper pack mm. but for longer hikes heavy hikes this is uh, this is what you should buy in my opinion uh, so yeah the Bergen's uh, openest 110 liters yeah fucking awesome oh yeah oh yeah so, that's yep, it that's it recommended Go bye. <laughs>